What makes Hollywood tick? What keeps its pulse throbbing at such a rapid rate? A search for its heart lays bare a powerful business operation, driven by producers, publicists, and agents. These are the people that the artists turn to, to guide and steer them through the inner workings of show business in Hollywood. Yeah. She said there's no place for female vocalists on ships, right? Listen, I'm trying to do the best I can for you, as a mother, as an agent, and if you keep plugging away, you're going to do fine. So agents think of themselves in a more respected kind of way as businessmen. Whereas before, I think, they were considered the schlepper for the actor. Now they're the businessman for the actor. You know, they're the guys that make 10% and more. And now they're into packaging. They get more than just their 10% fee. Do you see what I mean? It, it, and they become multi-millionaire business people who own incredible corporate structures of business, and they're very powerful people. AC and I, in fact, arrived in Hollywood at about the same time. And today, 50 years later, AC is still at Paramount, celebrating a long, successful career as a distinguished producer. If I were young, if I were attractive, if I were 19, I thought I had talent and I wanted to get in this business, I'd find, a, I'd find a good agent. I'd find an agent that I thought was as good as my talent and try to convince him that I had what it takes for him to make money. A lot of money changes hands here. And it's a very powerful business. It's to be recognized, it's to be respected. I mean, there's no reason to say anything bad about it. It functions, it's working. Hollywood can be, uh, can be great and it can be glamorous and it can be everything that you imagine, but it can also be a very, very difficult place with a lot of people who are caught in a trap in so many ways. Um, they're caught in this trap and they don't know how to get out because you're so entangled with the people in your life now, your agents, your managers. But without that agent or that manager, without that representative, the actor is out there naked. I was running down my pants and this woman next to me is... Hold on, need so to get just get, stick with me. I'll just get this real quick, okay? Hello? Yeah. Hi, you know something? I have to call you back. I've got a client here. The best actors that I work with have a good professional mind. They know how a business is supposed to be run and they realize that they are the product. Okay, yeah, I want to tell you something very interesting about Arnold Schwarzenegger. When Arnold first came to this town, he drove a car that had purple sheepskin covers on them. And he was like a muscle-bound guy and are there any Arnold he looked like fans in the house? The biggest loser you could have picked out of the town at the time. This guy was going nowhere. I mean, his arms were out to here. He walked around like a muscle builder, or like, you know, from a club that you wouldn't even venture to go into. And the purple seat cover says a lot. You know, dyed purple. Can you imagine? Sheepskin, it was awful. And he put these on his car and on his steering wheel. And now he's paid $20 million or more, who knows, for movies. Arnold was Mr. America, and Arnold got upset because of the hard work that you have to do to become Mr. America, whereas Miss America is pretty much an accidental birth. You're born beautiful, boom, that's all you got to do, put on a bathing suit, and maybe you got some talent, maybe you can sing. It's not but one Miss America we know about who sings. Oh, come on. One. Arnold did something that most of the stars didn't. He went out and Arnold got his education. Arnold knew how to market Arnold and still does. In Detroit, they make automobiles. Here behind these Hollywood gates, we make dreams. This is a dream factory. Arnold uh, was my grand marshal in the Hollywood Christmas Parade a few years ago, and he told me, he said, uh, this is the most wonderful thing in the world. I got here on a Saturday, and on Sunday night, some friends said, you've got to come down to the Hollywood Christmas Parade. And Arnold, being the marketing person he is, 
and the great believer in himself that he is was sitting there saying one day I'll be in that parade. Eight years later he was a grand marshal from sitting on the curb one, one parade to the lead car eight years later. Who's to say that Mr. Schwarzenegger will not win an Academy Award one day? Just for his per per perseverance, his endurance, his tenacity, and his ability over time to come to a part that will mesmerize everybody and he'll play some part in some movie with Quentin Tarantino directing God knows what, I'm making it up. But the point is there's nothing that's impossible. What's up? Well, I have some news for you. Yeah? Um, last week, remember when I went on that audition for the Broadway show that my mom got for me and I was excited and then I blew it and I came right. home and cried all week and... <laughs> well, I got it. I got the Broadway show and we start rehearsal in two months and I'm at a Broadway <laughs> show! <laughs> I can't believe it, it's my whole dream come true. Oh what I'm saying is, your mother's not the tightest rap person in the world. On Wednesdays, she plays a psychic. This is a woman who's supposed to be your agent. She's been, this whole thing with uh, this boy or this young actor thing that she's had going on, and I'm really, you know, I would make sure before we start celebrating too much. So you're an actress from South Africa? Oh, yeah, you have a hood. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I am. You have anything lined up here? My mother is a legit agent. She is psychic. So I can tell you of so many things that happened when I was a kid. She is, and whatever she does with people what, in her spare when you were time, that's her from own business. If she wants to have an affair with somebody younger, that's her business. Somebody not younger, mine. twenty-two so what, years what younger than she is. What's your with that? What do you care? I think I got something really good for you. you want to be a bodyguard? Yeah. For who? Do you know who Lulu is? Yeah. Oh, great. Bodyguard for Lulu? Yep. Allison of the East Woods. Allison of the East Woods. East of the Woods, Allison. It might look like, you know, glamour and, and uh, you know, all these wonderful things, but underneath it is really a kind of a cutthroat business. And uh, you have to be aware that it has uh, it's a double-edged sword. You know? I think it's a nest of vipers. I mean, come on. It is. It's a nasty business. But when, when you get away from the business and get into what can be called art, you know, that's that's what I enjoy, so that's why I put up with the rest of it. Uh, it's in every facet of this business, it's people who just, just, every, I mean, unfortunately, sometimes really bad decisions are made on the part of producers or, you know, anybody in this business because they want to test how, how powerful they are, you know. Well, no, I don't want her in this movie because I just don't think she's right for it. It's really just, I wonder if I can get that, you know, I wonder if they'll, they'll Take, they'll take me being firm kind of a thing. You know, you get to know people on a personal level because you're in their face every day, you know, and, and you're doing their makeup and, yeah, I know a lot of things I probably shouldn't know and I, I, I know a lot of things I don't want to know, to be honest with you. You know, I don't care. Who cares about who's doing this and that and the other? I could care less. Okay, well then, how would I go about getting her number? I mean, this is someone I know. I'm not just a, some crazy person from off the street and I'm trying to get Lulu's phone number. I actually know her and, um, right? Okay, I, all right, I understand that. Then how would I get in touch with her? Well, the character. I think you guys have a character for me, though. <laughs> um, Bolt Spaulding is his name. Am I right? <laughs> yes. Bolt would sleep with anybody to get away. I would love to see Lulu. Um just take over the world. Just stun the world. She's fascinating and she has talent and she's glamorous. And I think that if anyone can do it, Lulu could. Bud, hi, it's uh, Lulu. Listen, um, I don't understand what's going on. I have a hit movie out. Yeah, we got a, uh, we got a big thing I mean, thing come on, I should be all over the place. What's going on? We'll definitely give them a call. And you know, make something happen. Take a look all over the world, all over the universe. Everyone will know about Jamie and Carmen Electra. Even in Timbuktu. I'll see to it.